Hey, Gemini. Hey, welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for my J -J Gemini's. Gemini's. Welcome, Gemini. Welcome, family. Welcome, cross watchers. Welcome, new subscribers. Welcome, everyone here is welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys, forgive me, I'm tired today. I'm exhausted. So I said, let me get a couple of videos out so y'all can get them, okay? But I want to thank each and every one of you. I really do truly appreciate all of your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your comments, your donations, your booked readings. Just everything is beautiful. Thank you so much. This is a general message for my beautiful Geminis. It's not gonna resonate with each and every Gemini cross watcher or whoever is watching. It may not resonate at all, okay? So just take the messages that resonate if they have, should happen to resonate and just leave the rest, okay, babes? It's not a big deal. It's not a big, is this still smoking? It's not a big deal unless you make it one, hun. It's, it's not a big deal unless you make it one. So are we ready for our song, Gemini? Come on, choir, come to the front, come to the front, okay? One, two, three, go! Gemini, 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 I say Gemini, 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 uh-uh. Gemini, 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 Gemini. Right, let's get the quiet on huh? and tell you how it's still smoking and shit. Hell yeah, it's still smoking. Hold on, y'all. I can't be burning up the motherfucking his nails. The crease lid. Lord. All right, I think it's out now. Anywho, we ready for our second number um, for the collective? We add that into this too. We're a channel. We sing, heal, learn, grow, and evolve. So if you don't like singing, bye, Felicia. Okay, choir. One, two, three, go! Tea girl, tarot, magic and collective. Tea girl, tea girl, tea girl, magic and collective. Tea girl, tarot, magic and collective. Check us out and see what we're about. That's what's up. That's what's up. Thank you, choir. Thank you for that number. We truly appreciate all of each and every one of you. Okay, so we're going to get into... The Kipper, as you see me say it, because some sh crazy shit has been coming out of these energies lately. Um, and I've been busy. I hadn't had a chance to say Jim after that last reading. So we'll figure out what's going on, Jim and I, okay? Ancestors, Holy Spirit, Ascended Masters, what do you want Jim and I to know? Jim and I, wait, let me make sure these cards... <laughs> Gemini way. Okay, well, the pathway came. Did that come in reverse? No, it didn't come in reverse. Okay, it's the pathway. So, you guys, because on this pathway, there's butterflies. There's one, two, three, four, five. Five is change. There's a transformation. You're going. So, the next pathway that you go down, because now a lot of you are going through transformations. A lot of you are, you know, pretty much just started your transformation. And some of you have been on this journey in the transformation, and um, you're going into another transformation, okay? In the distant horizon, oh, Gemini, oh, I, I, Gemini, I like this energy, okay? So those are, for those of you that are doing, and in this collective, or in the way I read, in, I'm, I read energy, okay? That's number one. And I know there's good and bad, high and low, okay? And everything is energy, whether it vibrates on a high frequency or a low frequency. Dictates the outcome of whatever, however you live, whatever goes on, okay? So you can tell what frequency people are vibrating on by the way that their life runs. And everybody, before they're enlightened, their awakening starts on a low frequency, okay? Because we just don't know. Until we learn, grow, heal, evolve, and elevate from our past mistakes. And we learn because this is a big school. This earth, this 3D, is nothing but a big school. 
We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. So we are supposed to be learning through this. No one comes in this world knowing everything. We're babes in God. Just like when we have babies, we have to teach them everything. And then when they get to a certain age, they think they know every goddamn thing. And they don't. That's the same thing with us. Okay? We get a little bit of enlightenment and then we just think we know every damn thing. And we don't. What we don't know will always be greater than what we do know because the creator is vast. And he is the ultimate source of an innumerable, the ultimate source and limits and bounds and essence and origins and of everything, good and bad, seen and unseen of all things. So we don't even know, we only know 5% of what we can see physically so, okay? So we always have to keep an open mind. And I don't know why I'm going off on that part. But anyway, you guys are going through a transformation. That's why I'm saying. So for high vibes and low vibes, when I say high vibe, High Vibe is going through the transformation on their spiritual path, on their spiritual awakening. They're going through the moments where they're able to fly into the butterfly, okay? And then the Low Vibes, that's the ones that have a struggly life. And it's not that they're bad people. They just don't know any better. When you don't know any better, you can't do any better. But when you know better, then you can do better, right, guys? Right. So it's not that they're bad, you know what I mean? They just don't know how energy works. And a lot of people, they they rule with their 3D heart. And, I mean, instead of the 5D heart. And they go physical. A lot of physical, carnal, fleshly realm. And so they, they use judgment with these eyes and this heart, and the, this heart of flesh, instead of going within and using discernment. Okay. Cause not, there's a thing called tough love. Tough love is doing things that you don't want to do, but you know, it's best was the best thing for the situation period. And so that's when you start to go on your spiritual path is when you're able to use discernment and start to detach from this 3d realm going more so living in the 5D realm while you're on this 3D realm, if that's making sense. For the high vibes, you understand. Low vibes, just keep watching. It's okay. You'll come up, okay? But in the distant horizon for the high vibes, I said all of that to say this. In the distant horizon, because you've gone down this pathway, you've gone in this transformation, okay? You're still growing and evolving and healing through your transformation, in the distant horizon, there is a marriage to take place, okay? Um, I'm excited. Yes, honey. It, this is going to be a very wealthy relationship. The both of you are going to be surrounded in coin, coinage, okay? This marriage is going to bring unexpected income, okay? And... Yeah, this person that you meet, they're wealthy or you're already wealthy and you're going to meet somebody that's wealthy too and y'all bring y'all wealth together, whether it be, you know, um, you know, wealth doesn't have to be money. It can be just everything. It could be money, you know, money because God's people are, are, are wealthy, abundant in money and health and, you know, every, every everything. But anyway, the reason that you have this sudden wealth coming to you in the distant horizon is because you decided to choose yourself, okay? Um, you decided to court yourself and start loving yourself and using self-care, okay? And you started courting divine, okay? This is you and divine, if I can put it that way, okay? And you you chose down that pathway, okay? So in the distant horizon, therefore, you are going to receive a beautiful marriage. Mm -hmm. What else? Somebody's concerned about you getting married in the distant horizon. Who's concerned? Someone that you used to hold in high honor, okay? Somebody that you used to court. Because before I flipped that, I did see the false person, okay? Which meant Woundy and Krusty would have been the false person that you held in high honor. And this person is concerned now, okay? Um, I'm not picking that up, angels. You know what? We not... <laughs> <laughs> for some of you side note this has nothing to do with this story right here um this is not good okay i sage the cards okay um even sage myself before i got on camera all that good stuff but angels want me to tell the collect i mean the gemini's 
Because there's people here watching and I don't know why the energies get weird. We have really good readings and then we get these weird ass like readings. And so anyway, Spirit is telling me that someone is in the distant horizon. They see your transformation. They see your glow up. They are afraid that you're about to get into a whole nother courtship with someone that has a lot of money. Pretty much which I just said that. Okay. But this false person wants to come back and they want to court you and get into a marriage with you because of the sudden wealth, okay? And this concerns this person because because the high honor could be Holy Spirit, but what I did pick up is they want they want to marry you because they want to take out a life insurance policy for this unexpected income and have you gone gone to glory, okay? This false person. That, yeah, yeah, they, they, they want a house. They want to move into your house because you got shit going on. They want to become the main whoever, but they want to make you the main person, okay? Because this person's losing shit. I did see the change getting ready to come up right before that. Mm, anyway, but for back to the, the positive end of things, because I said there is high vibes and low vibes here too, okay? So we can't get all positive messages all the time. There's a mixture of people that come in. You could be a high vibe Gemini or a low vibe Gemini or a low vibe air sign or a high vibe air sign. You could be anybody, okay? Um, angels, what else would you like my beautiful Gemini's to know? Sorry, Gemini. Angels, are y'all done talking with the thing? They like this is pretty much what we want you to do. Okay, they say go into the tarot. Okay. They told me that I kept sh shuffling. So one story is you've gone through the transformation, you've done your hard work. Okay, so this is tying into the same story. Okay, woundy and crusty. This is a crazy ass woundy and crusty. These people are, I hear sociopath, but you didn't know that. You didn't know that collective. You had no idea. What, what deck should I use? Lord have mercy. Okay, let me use this the easiest right in front of me. Okay. Yeah, this person's, they're either the, they're e yeah, this person is three of swords because you're fucking successful and celebrated. Pretty much because you're pouring up, you're out with your friends, doing your damn thing. They see you, whatever you're doing, they see you, okay? They're talking shit about you as well. So this person's upset and angry. They're concerned because they wonder if you, if you know they've been talking about, if you, if, the, that you, if you know they've been talking about you. Of course, Teresa knows everything, right? Yeah, they see you being victorious and successful. This person likes a lot of attention, okay? They do want to be victorious and successful in marrying you. They're in the distant horizon. They're going to come in with this three of swords for sudden wealth. I've been picking. That's why the high honor card came in. Here we go. Nine of swords. I mean, ten of swords. That's the ultimate backstab and betrayal. I mean, this King of Wands energy, okay? This is Woundy. Woundy done showed up. So Woundy is upset because you're moving on into a whole other path or realm. And didn't I do something about a couple of readings before how these people are like literally crazy and you guys are like, well, why don't they just let go? I'm so sick of them. Um, because these people are mentally unstable. They done fucked up. And y'all know they done did that black magic. They did the black magic. Look, the King of Wands, he's a black magic motherfucker. So he done did some, and yeah, he's doing magic for you to come back to him so you can be victorious and successful so he can get this unexpected income. And he's heavily burdened by it or she's heavily burdened by it, okay? Because they are putting in spell work and they're working with other people too, putting in teamwork and collaboration to, to get it done. Oh, hell no. They're doing death spell, all this shit, but it's not working. And that's why they're in the three of swords energy coming to want to come back and three of swords you and ten of swords you. So they want to, they see your transformation. So they want to come back and courtship. I'm not making it up. Look, knight of cups energy. Why? Because they want control. They want control. Okay. They want to move forward quickly. Yes, they do. And some of these people are being watched by the policia. Okay, yes they are, yes they are. But they want forward movement and success. They see whatever you got going on, it happened quickly. There was forward movement, okay? You've cut them out, they see. As soon as you cut them, they realize you cut them out. It was a tower, an explosion to their situation, to their life. And also, Spirit is telling me they're coming back as well because they can't fuck with you. They can't stop you. They have nowhere else 
They don't have no other hope but to come back to you. Because some of them are going to jail. Okay? They're going to jail and they need some type of balance. That's why they need you. So they have bad karma going on right now because it's a black magic backfire. So whatever they try to imprison and trap you in, they got caught in their own trap. Mm-hmm. They got caught in their own trap. They try to... Yeah, they fuck with... Yeah, they did it with the main female who they... Oh, my God, this is too much. I don't even... You know what? These people are just gross. This is a low life. A low life person. The page of wands wants to come and message you in the distant horizon. Hey, girl. Hey, boy. How you doing? I ain't talked to you in a minute. You want to go out? Or they may message you... This person literally has possibly, for some of them, are having heart problems. They've had a heart surgery, a, <laughs> a triple, no, quadruple bypass um, heart surgery with this. Okay, and they might have, when they found out about your sudden wealth, they instantly entrapped them and they fit yeah they entrapped them because this person figured like damn if i would have just stayed with gemini you know what i mean and courted them they would have got this sudden wealth but they didn't they left and they ended up getting backstabbed and betrayed okay this your success makes them feel backstabbed and betrayed and they're concerned so they're trying to figure out which way they want to go okay they know they which way they want to go they see you as the world okay so they're they had a choice between two. That's what happened. They went down the wrong path, and now they want to go to your path. And they want to do it really, really quickly. Like I said, with the chariot came out, you could be dealing with a cancer, a water sign, okay? Don't have to be. But Woundy is here, so it is definitely a fire sign. That's for sure. And a possibly some air, another air sign, too. This air sign wants to come in quick and have sex with you to tie you down. I told you they want to come in because you're getting married. You have a new beginning and they think they want to stop that shit. So they can be the king of pentacles because they broke like a motherfucking joke. And this motherfucker drinks too much. They're greedy. They're smug. Okay. Mm -mm. I'm not going to say that, angels. They don't, um, they don't bathe properly. This person doesn't. Because if they drinking all the time, they're sad. They've gone through a tower. This black magic's backfiring on them. Okay. These people with the with the with the with the nine one one, like I said, they possibly had a heart attack doing this fucking death magic. I mean, that's what happens. I mean, I can laugh at that shit. That shit is funny, motherfucker. You think you're gonna do some black magic? That's with other people. With other people, look, and you went to a high somebody that had knowledge of black magic too, know how to do it in your community. Yes, you did. Okay, and that shit, you did a death spell to this main female with this big ass house. It could be a main male to for my males, okay, that are living good, someone that's living good, that got their shit together. I'm hearing, and some of this this person, stay away from this person because if they're not coming back to marry you, some of these people have taken out a life insurance policy without you even knowing it. And they're trying to off you for this insurance policy. I'm just saying, my name is Shabina, and I ain't in it. I don't know. The cards are here. The energy's here. No one's wishing anything bad on anyone. I'm just letting y'all know what the fuck is up. Stay woke. Okay, because niggas is creeping. Niggas is going through towers and having a bad time in their life. Okay, they having heart attacks and shit. Going in and out of the fucking hospital. Okay, having heavy ass burdens and shit. Some of them almost died during this, t this fucking heart surgery and almost went to glory they probably had to be resuscitated at least one two three three times for some of them not all of them but they did have a triple bypass with this three these three cannons honey with this three sores got stabbed in the heart nigga they had to get that shit was fucked up and now they're heavily burdened so they have no choice but to come because they're in and out the hospital and some of them got um uh, the police after them yeah they do so now they want to come and communicate with you, the lovers. They still have options. The lovers is automatically a choice between two. So you did have a soulmate connection with this person, possibly not all of you, but they see you as a soulmate connection. Okay, but they always had, there was always three people in the mix. It was never just you and them. 
it was someone else. And so you told them to call Tyrone and they can't use your phone. I think you better call Tyrone. Call him mm, and tell him come over and get your shit. I say you call Tyrone, but you can't use my phone. I had to sing all of that to say this motherfucker is boss. There's nothing wrong. It's just when you're lying about it because this person is a fucking liar. They are bisexual, so they had to call Tyrone. Some of them left you for a motherfucking Tyrone, but you told them they couldn't use your motherfucking phone. Okay? Confirmation. <laughs> I'm just saying, you'll see a lot of confirmations and spiritual things on this channel, honey. You see orbs flying, rocks float, not floating, but when some shit is right and accurate, 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 the rock will fall automatically. Okay? Now, you here at the Nine of Pentacles and shit, shining, 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 yeah. All of this went in. Self-sufficient, self successful, business owner, entrepreneur, look good, smell good, CEO, uh, I don't know, ex ex executive. Y'all make a lot of money, y'all doing your damn thing. You're living your best lives for real, real, okay? All this solar plex, gold, and just beautiful energy. And this person's holding on to you. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Because they woundy. Woundy done showed up. Woundy showed up. Woundy is wounded. Woundy is bisexual. Woundy is confused. Woundy doesn't take responsibilities for his or her actions. Woundy always likes to play the blame game. Victim mentality. Woe is me. It's never my fault. This person. They tried the emperor. Didn't want to. He is out. This motherfucking old knock knee motherfucker. That acts baby like. This old ass man that act baby like they want control and shit. They old as fuck. This tall, knock kneed, raggedy motherfucker. Okay, just mm. now this is and they're only the emperor because they want control. This is not the upright emperor. He should have popped up in reverse. Okay, all this energy, especially they trying to do all of that to y'all for unexpected income. They putting in teamwork and collaboration with other people to do this too to bring a tower to you and your nine of pentacles. That is. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Because I'm looking at it right here, and I, you know, if I, it's just not gonna give me all the. Let me see if I can. I don't know if you see this. Okay, so the tower. This is this is the Holy Spirit card. Then we got the three of uh, fucking pentacles with the tower with the nine of pentacles right there for this unexpected income. Some of them want to come in and marry you, but so for those that are not expecting a new love and you're still holding on low vibe to this other sociopath, psychopath, crazy person that's broke, desolate, thirsty, hungry, crunchy, sleepy, wounded, leaky, crusty, and did I say what else? Okay, you guys got the rest. They're going to come in and pretend to love you. In the distant horizon, they see your transformation. They see your glow up. They haven't changed. They still got options. And they put it in teamwork and collaboration. I'm hearing with the same person they left you. It's probably Tyrone or Tyresha. Okay? I don't know. But it's what other people. At least three other people are in cahoots for this fucking shit. It's not going to work, though, because all the other readings, child, they so damn dumb and stupid. They spell work ain't working. That's what it's not, because you cutting shit out. you like, bitch, shut the fuck up and sit your ass, sit your childish ass down. Mama, mama, you got your back turned towards a dumb ass, young ass, old ass motherfucker. Child, because if you turn around, you're going to slice this motherfucking, and you spoke your truth, and you spoke, you're very wise. Oh, yeah, you already knew. You already on point. You know what the fuck is up, Gemini. You know what the fuck is up. Yeah. Well, is, well for, you already know you prote protected. Okay? Blessed and highly favored, protected. I can't say it over and over enough and enough. I'm going to cut off this video because it's going to cut off on me. I'm going to give a couple more seconds. But you're blessed and highly favored. There's nothing for you guys to worry about. This plan will never execute. It cannot execute because that's not in God's will. It's in these demons' will. And you already see shit a mile ahead. 
So good luck, motherfuckers. Okay, the ones that's trying to do this shit to my baby Gemini's, good luck, good fucking luck. Because I done picked up on y'all's raggedy, stanking, low life, crusty, woundy, leaky, pussy, hungry, dehydrated um, energy. Okay, so no weapon formed against my babies will ever prosper. Will never prosper. And I'm going to turn that shit to cinder tenfold and let the Lord hit you where the good Lord split you. Okay? So, I mean, it is what it is. You don't never know who you're messing with. You don't know who has what and whose power is what and who's connected to who. If I'm picking up these energies, I, I am sending this shit back to the sender tenfold in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yo, hallelujah. Bye, Gemini. I love you.